Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome to the Makers Gaming. And today we're going to continue our build of Agora Models Ladder Truck Number 9 from the Fire Department of New York. Um, I always forget that I say it's Ladder 9, but it's Ladder 9. Uh, we're going to be doing Pack 6 today, which is going to start off with uh, Stage 38. We'll see how far along we get. Uh, I'll put a link below to this particular model and the Gore. So if you want to do this build or any of their other builds, you can go check them out. So what we'll do next, like always, I'll bring you guys forward and we'll start off. Here's all the parts that we need for the first stage, which is, I have no clue, which is stage 38. Uh, they want you to go back to stage 32 and grab this uh, cabinet frame. And the, these are the parts that came with this particular stage, which is an outrigger, some diamond plating, uh, some step plates, some brackets for the steps, and a grab rail, and, and we're going to do some uh, lens work again. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to take this right here, well first, let me move all this stuff out of the way. They want you to grab that cabinet frame that you, what are they actually calling it? Oh, storage, com, storage, cat, storage compartment frame, cabinet frame. Um, and you want to take this section of diamond plate right here, and it goes, lays just right on top of there. And then you're going to take the outrigger that came with this stage. And there's some holes in here, and then there's some holes in the cabinet frame. So basically it just goes real simple. It goes right on top of there. Just going to line the holes up. And then basically what you do is you're going to flip it over. And there's two holes right there. You just line up the holes with some H screws. So there's that one outrigger in there. Now we're going to be starting to do some step work. So the next thing I want you to take this Z bracket right here. It's going to put the steps together. And there's quite a few different steps here. So the one you want to start off with first is the one with the shortest, which is this one right here. It's got the shortest lugs on the end right here. And that's going to go right into here. Now, noticing right off the bat that there's some flashing on here, so I don't know if that's going to affect this going in or not. So the Z is held like that, and then this goes on here. It's on there. Now, let's see if they want to use some glue on this. All right, yeah, they do. They, they say it's best to put some glue on here before you put the bracket in. So paying attention to this orientation right here. Now, I'm going to hold them real secure. For a few seconds now i'm not real confident because those lugs are so short so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit more glue and on the bottom where you're really not going to see this i'm going to add some more glue so i'll make sure that's really held in there i'm going to make sure it's all the way against there that bracket's held on there okay now that you have it like this we're going to turn it like this and now you want the one with the longest lugs that's right here this one's got the longest lugs on the end and they say you want to put it into there and again they want us to put some glue on there oh yeah be careful oh, make sure the the grids of the step are facing up so you don't put it in upside down okay so now you have something that looks like this it's basically looks like a step so now what they want you to do is to take the other z bracket that came with this and you put that on here and what I'm gonna do is I want to take some glue again put that on here so there you go you got one step okay now you have these plates right here they want you to go get the plate that has Two holes in the one bottom corner, one hole in the other one, other side like this, the one right here. Take these other two away. Now these next two steps right here are identical. So this is the top right here. So you want the grids to be up here. So there's the holes here. You're going to put it right in there. All right, and they, they pretty much held into place there. So then there's a two set of holes right here, right underneath. You take the next one and put that right there. And then once you have this done, they want you to take the step that you built, and that's going to go in these bottom two holes right here. And 
So now you basically have a step assembly. So the next step they want us to do is take this lens, put it into the lens frame. They say it's a press fit, from, but from my experience, you, you should really put a drop of glue in there because the lenses will fall out. A little bit of glue in here and then just simply press the red lens into there. So there you go. There's the lens and the lens frame all together. Now they want you to bring this plate right here, this diamond plate right here. And this lens is going to fit right into here. One hole is bigger than the other, so you can only orient it the right way. But again, I'm going to put some glue on there just to make sure it stays. Squeeze it till it takes hold, which it doesn't seem to be doing. So what I'm going to do is what we've done before is I'm just going to put some glue on the rear here. And what you want to do is just make sure it's flat. And then I'm going to hit it with some zip kicker. And now that lens is in there nice and secure. Now they want us to go get this other one we have right here. There's two recesses right here. And that is where this grab rail is going to go. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there. Okay, so now that plate has got, has got, has the grab rail in there. And we're going to bring back the step assembly that we had. This backing plate right here that we just put this light on, this is going to go in the back right here in the two joining holes. Like this. And then this plate goes on. It says you shouldn't have to glue this, but I'm having my doubts here. Push all the pieces together. And now you've got a whole step assembly. And we're at the very end of the instructions, they say if you have problems, you can add some glue. So I think I'm going to do what we've done with the other ones is I'm actually going to add glue to these posts over here to hold it because that always seemed to work good. So we're going to go get our glue. So after you get done putting the step assembly together, they want you to bring back the uh, box frame and this compartment frame right here and having it oriented just like this you're going to put it there's two stubs on the back to go into these mating holes right here and then we're going to hold them in with some d screws now these screws are very let me see i can show you these screws are very small, okay? And what you want to do is you want to put a little bit of glue on the end of this before you put them into the five holes that are in here, okay, to make sure they, they hold in. That's per the directions. We'll put some super glue right on there. And we'll take each D screw Dip it in the super glue and then screw it in. Okay, all five of those screws are in here. And like I said, you want to make sure you put some super glue on the end of those screws because they very, are very shallow, so you want to make sure they grab a hold. Now that the cabinet frame is attached to the box frame, uh, they're going to have to start putting in some of the cabinets. The first one we're going to have is starting off with is the one that has the electrical connection. And when I fit this in a little earlier to do a dry fit, I did find that some of the tabs or the stubs sticking up that the hinges hold the hinges in there they stick out a little proud so you may have a little bit of a problem getting it in here so all I did was I took my flush cutters and just cut them down a little bit and now the cabinet fits right in there and then you have a cabinet door that opens up 
and closes. Now that you have that cabinet in place, I want you to go and get this long cabinet that you had that we put together back in stage of 36. And we're going to put that in here with the hinge down. That just slides right in there. So now that's in there. And finally, um, back in stage seven, you had this cabinet right here. And of course, it's pretty easy to tell which way it goes because you're lining up the stripe. So this one just slides right in as well. And there you go. So now you have it all set up. All the cabinets are in. And that is it for 38. So now we're going to move on to stage 39. The first thing you're going to have us do in stage 39 is taking this compartment right here. You want to orient this way so the black is towards the bottom here. And it fits right in there. Now, again, these are going to use those D screws, which are very s small screws. And they want you to put some super glue on there to hold that, hold the screw into place and hold the cabinet into there. Now, I think what I'm going to do with this one compared to this one, I think I'm actually going to put a little bit of super glue right in here on the frame just to hold this to make sure. Put some on there just to make sure it holds it because those screws don't hold very doesn't look they don't look like they hold very well and that's because they're so shallow so put some super glue on here and as i put each d screw in d screw goes here and here put some super glue on here Okay, so that'll hold that in there. Now, the next thing they want you to do is they want you to bring back the step assembly that we did. And that is going to fit right into here. And I said this fits right into here. Now there's two pegs on the back. Now, when you put this step assembly in, if you can see right here, this top post right here is black. That was silver. There was a lot of paint flashing around here that I need to take off in order for it to fit into this hole right here. Uh, they do tell you to do that in the instructions. I had to take quite a bit off so it would fit in there. So now this goes in here and it should fit pretty snug in here. And it does. So there you go. There's that step assembly all in there. Now we're going to start working on the battery compartment. So what they want you to do is turn this over like this. And they want you to take the battery compartment right here. There is a rather large hole right here. And they want you to put that. There's two posts right here. This fits right on it. And they want you to actually run this underneath out towards the front here now these front ones get held in with two uh, J screws now I am going into the metal frame so I'm going to use some rapid tap here Now we got these two J screws in here. They want us to take the lid for the battery compartment, put that in, and use that one eye screw to hold the lid in there. And what I did forget is our last J screw needs to go right back there. So here's what the battery compartment all looks like assembled. There is our three j screws right here the one eye screw is holding in the lid right here and 39 is all complete we do have these leftover pieces right here we'll just put them aside for the future 
here's all the parts for 40. You've got an axe, a pickaxe, it looks like um, a wiring assembly. It looks like we have some lights that these three uh, clear lenses are going to go into. We have another lens system right here. And here's the lenses that looks like it's going to be going into here. And one lonely Emmett screw. So we're going to start off with this one right here. You want the black shaft right here down and to the left. And the first lens that's going to go in is the red lens right here. Or a red lens. And they want us to hold this into place with some PVA glue or basically, you know, Elmer's white glue. Because it dries transparent. So I'm going to put some right here. They want us to put it on the lugs of each one of these lenses. All right, first one's in. The next one is an orange or amber, I guess. I think this time I'm going to put it in the frame. Okay, so now the amber lens is in there. Now the next one is the clear. And then the last red one goes in the bottom. All right, so that light cluster is all in there. And if you look on the back of the cluster, there's some clear holes in these. So I think the reason they want you to use the Elmer's glue, because it, like we said, it dries clear. I think there's going to be some lights in here to make this light up. So I'm going to put this aside up here to let that dry. Because now they want us to bring it back. And they want us to take this electrical assembly that we have. And it goes onto here. So what we'll do, why we'll orient it like this. So you're looking at the back. The little black shaft there is down and to the right. And the way you put this on, you can only put this on there one way because there is a hole here and there is a lug right there. And that's going to get held on there with an M screw. All right, I had to switch my bit to a double zero Phillips in order to get this screw in here because this is a really small screw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it through the circuit board first. Okay, so now that's on there. Okay, they want us to go back and get the rear panel from stage two. That's the one that has the little toe hooks back here. And they want us to bring back this frame right here that we did earlier. So with the steps right here, they want us to bring this wiring harness that we just attached to the light cluster. They want us to undo this. And it's going to go through this hole right here and through the hole on the end right here. And then this hole at the bottom of this cabinet right in here. It's going to go through here. So you want you to pull it through. Again, this auxiliary right is going to go down to the left here, so it goes to the outside of the body. And they want you to put place this panel right in the place right here. Now there's a lug on the underside of this. They want you just to put, and there's also a lug over here, but just on the left side. They only, only want you to secure it over here. Okay, what they want you to do is they want you to push this light assembly into here. And there's a small hole right here, but just like the other things we discovered, the paint has made that hole a little small. So we're just going to lightly take our exacto knife, go around, take off some of that flashing that's in that hole, and we're going to push it in. And that's all it took to hold that in there. Just got to lightly remove some of that flashing in there. Now, like we said before, we kept this side loose right here. We didn't push this in. And what they want you to do is pull these cables taunt. So this side, just like that. So this side sits nice and tight, but you still want to leave this side loose. 
there you go that rear lights all in there now I'm going to lay this on the side like this go back to your little parts bin there and get this cabinet you did in stage 37 and you want to make sure this cable is pulled taunt and it's against the, this cabinet in here because this is going to slide right in here and I'm going to turn it this way because I don't want to pressure on that plastic piece right here you got to make sure they are really against the wall in here so the cabinet can slide in so let's try this again this time the cabinet did go in now we're going to be working with some of those light clusters that we had so here's the cluster here's the three lenses that go in and just like the other one they want us to use some white glue to put those lens in now I'm going to put glue on all these right now that's what's nice about the white glue is you got a lot of open time on here so you don't have to worry about it drying on you okay all three lenses are now in so we still have these two axes and a fire extinguisher left over so he wants to go, go back and get this midsection that we did earlier I'm going to put this right down here now you're going to take the pickaxe and you're going to slide that into here and into the holder right here okay now we put this aside we're going to bring back this assembly that we just we're just working on we're going to open up these two cabinet doors right here and you're going to take the axe and there's two holes right in here and it goes right in there with the blade facing out it looks like the hole is not big enough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to since these cabinets just slide in and the reason I'm doing it is I'm afraid of because this piece is still loose in the back I'm afraid of breaking that so I'm going to put the axe in this cabinet with it with the cabinet not in now I might be able to see right here is again the reason I had some problems getting this axe into here is there's some flashing in this hole right here so again I'm just going to take my exacto knife run that around I want to put one end in first then just swing this around now that axe is in the cabinet so we'll do close these doors bring this frame back and we'll just slide this cabinet right back in again so now when you open this side there's the axe this stage is all complete we do have left over a fire extinguisher and this light cluster we'll put these away in our little parts bin for later and that's it for stage 40. here's the parts for stage 41 you got a cabinet looks like we're going to be putting together another shelf and we're going to be doing some more uh, cabinet doors looks like right here so we're going to jump right in and of course you know as normal for doing the shelf which you've seen us do before you have got the shelf right here you have this metal bar right here that fits right in there and then you have the shelf bottom that fits right in there so we just need to put some glue in there squeeze the two parts together for a little while to make sure they hold so now we have one shelf all complete put that over here now we're going to move right on to the right hand door right here so you're going to take this put it like this and just like before there oh, turn it this way because there's a little square right here that of course goes where the magnets at so we're going to put some glue on these holes okay so this is the right door we'll put this right here now we're basically going to do the same thing little square right here magnet here do the exact same thing for the other door for the left hand door match them up hold them for a few seconds
Next, we're going to take this cabinet right here. There's again these there are ridges in here. Make sure they are facing towards the top, and you are going to put the shelf in. Just like we did in the previous stages. There's a hole in the back. There's a pin on the shelf. Make sure it seats in there. There you go. Now that shelf is in there. Okay, so you're going to hold this cabinet now like this so the shelf is towards the top. See, there's less of a space up here than there is at the bottom. Hold it just like that. Obviously, this is going to be the left side of the cabinet. So you want to take your left door right here. And there's two pins right here and there's two holes on the hinges like we've done before. So we're going to put some glue in that recess right here. And we'll hold it here for a few seconds so the glue can take effect. And that door closes. And now we're going to do the exact same thing for the other door. Now before we put the door on this cabinet, there's a little door hinge right here. D-shaped hole right here on the back here. So we're going to just take some super glue right here and put the door in or not the door hand but the door latch door handles right in there and we're going to bring back the cabinet and we're going to do the same thing put some glue on this recess right here and here we go another cabinet done I'm put this up here put this to the side and that is it for stage 41. Here's the parts for stage 42. You got another cabinet, the cabinet door, the uh, other side of the cabinet door, the inner cabinet door. We've got two uh, door latches right here, a couple D screws, and then we've got uh, the, what is this, the right door and the inner right door panel on there. So we're going to start off with working on this cabinet door right here. Uh, much like the other doors we did, of course you see the square right here. We're gonna put a couple of spots of glue right here, flip this over and put that right on. Hold it for a couple seconds. Then we're gonna bring in the cabinet right here. Of course there's the recess right here for the holes that are in the hinge. So we're gonna put some glue along this recess right here. Now we have one operating cabinet. Put that aside. Now we're going to be working on this door right here. So we're going to flip it over like this. And there's a magnet in the door. So if you have, so if you have your uh, rear door like this, to the hinge to the to the right, you're going to want this so the magnet is in the upper right hand position right here so when you flip it over it goes here and you know you have it correctly when there's this mechanism right here it is towards the outside of the door so we'll just put some more glue on these little lugs right here squeeze them tight for a few seconds we'll put all these put this aside now there's these door latches that came. One goes here and another one goes here. So again, we're just going to bring back our super glue. I keep saying super glue. What I'm actually using is Gorilla super glue. Doesn't matter what kind of CA glue you use. Now we'll do the same thing with this door right here. There you go that door handles in there so the two door handles are now in there put these parts aside they want us to bring back this frame and if you remember from before we put this cat this uh rear door in here so this door that we just assembled right here that's going to go into here and if you look down in here there's the 
an inner frame and an outer frame. I'm uh, trying to get you to see it. So it, the hinge has to go between them. Now remember, here's the tricky part, is this part is loose. They don't want us to put that in yet, so you're going to have to put this in here without pushing down on the other plastic piece there. Okay, so the door, the door is in there. This is why they want you to keep this loose, is you have to lift this up a little bit in order to get this door into here. And now the door is in here. So we flip it over like this. And just like before, there's two holes right here. And they are going to get held in with some, with some D-screws. All right, so now I got those two D-screws in there. And had two rear doors that open up. And remember, you gotta keep this loose. So with that, this stage is done. So you've got the two doors in, and you got this cabinet which is left over, which we'll probably use later. Put that away. And now we're off to stage 42? No, 43. Now we're off to stage 43. Here are the parts for stage 43. Obviously, we're going to do some more door work and more cabinet work. There's a shelf here with the bar, and then there's a door latch right here. We're going to start off by doing the shelf. So just like every other time, we're going to put this bar right in here. Put a little bit of glue in these holes right here. And then put the shelf bottom right on. Okay, we're going to squeeze it for a little while that up here now what we're going to be doing is are the doors same as before this is the left hand door here's the square goes where the magnets at the right door square where the magnet is door up here same down here That's what's nice about this micro tip applicator is I don't, on some of these larger pieces, I don't need to use the toothpicks. I can actually just use the bottle. Squeeze for a while, and we're going to put this up here. Now you're going to bring the cabinet back. You're going to orient this so here's those ridges where the shelf is going to fit in. You want these towards the top so there's less space up here. There's more space down here. And... There's a pin on the back right here, goes in here. There you go, that shelf is in. Now we're gonna start putting some doors on. So now orienting the cabinet, so again, so you got less space up here, more space down here. You're gonna take this left door and you're gonna, we're gonna put it on just like this. Close this door, now we're gonna do the exact same thing for the other door. So there you go, we got one cabinet done, or another cabinet done, with a shelf. And the last thing we have to do is right in here is put in this door latch. And that, believe it or not, brings us to the end of stage 43. And also brings us to the end of pack six. So that's it for pack six of the Agora Models ladder truck number nine of the fire department of New York. Um, I hope if you're doing this model, this helped you along a little bit. If you're not doing it, I hope it inspired you. Uh, so until pack seven comes out, and I'll see you at that build, I'm Steve. Thanks for stopping by the Maker's Cave.